I just want to say, get them nuggets. Get those very specific nuggets of information from people. Stop expecting people who are experts at uh, whatever. They're an expert in one field, but they're not an expert in all fields. Or they might be completely ignorant in certain things that you're passionate about, but um, that's just life. And we, as I'm speaking to black folks, need to uh, learn how to separate. Whether it's another black person speaking or Joe Rogan. I just seen this clip on Twitter. I just got back on Twitter randomly. Just, I'm gonna still keep my distance. Twitter is pretty toxic. But um, yeah, Joe Rogan saying, you know, oh, I don't see what people are yelling this stuff in the streets for and what are they protesting for? You're fighting this invisible uh, monster. And, you know, he's just saying a bunch of completely um, just inaccurate information and just insensitive, insensitive information um, and ignorant on the topic of racism and white supremacy. I don't know if Joe Rogan ever had uh, like a black, I don't even wanna use the word leader, a black figure, a real black figure, a black conscious figure on his show to debate such a thing or educate him on such a thing. Um, I'm not sure, maybe he has, but I feel like I've seen Tariq on there, but I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I, I, I still like, I'll still listen to Joe Rogan. I'll go to his stuff when I, if I see it. Um, he talks about like aliens and outer space and astrology and fighting and shit like that. That's what I go to him for. It's just, he's very popular. So he'll talk about all the random things like racism and really have no fucking clue what he's talking about. That doesn't mean we need to just completely cancel motherfuckers. Like, we need to mature, black folks. We need to mature. Same thing I always say with the Dr. Umar or whoever, Brother Polite, Sonnet, or all these people, you know, you don't have to agree to every single thing they're saying. They might be completely ignorant in one thing. Their, their approach might be off. But there's information there that you can take in whatever field and and take that little nugget of information, use it to your ability, use it to add to you, and disregard the things you don't agree with. I think that's a very important thing for us to start doing um, because people have vital information. For instance, I always speak on Eckhart Tolle and Alan Watts. Like, I listen to them religiously, like religiously. If I'm not listening to them, I'm probably off and falling back into my depression. Um, and, uh, like I have to listen to them on a regular to keep my spiritual being and mental understanding, um, at a good level. So I don't fall below that line of consciousness and start getting depressed again. Um, but I don't expect them to speak on white supremacy and racism. And when they do, they sound ignorant as fuck. They sound ignorant. Like I've heard Alan Watts say things like, you know, racism doesn't exist before. You know, whenever he was around, um, I guess the 70s is the speeches that I'm listening to. And it's okay. Like, of course, my ego starts feeling like, oh, this dumb, you know, like I feel something in my ego. My body reacts. I get a knee-jerk reaction. But that doesn't take away from the philosophy and the great mind that he has. Um, no human is perfect. No one knows it all. No one. People have very specific things that they're good at. You can learn from and keep it moving. If you can educate them, if you can show them a new like way of thinking, cool, try. But you're probably wasting your time. So I say that to say, get your nuggets of information, be specific about it, and keep it the fuck moving. <laughs> keep it moving, y'all. Let's not get too caught up in our emotions. Peace.